All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. Today we are going to start a brand new character in the game of Atlas. And I'll walk you through how you can start out at the free port and get yourself your first boat, your first set of tools, and all of that. So if you're brand new to the world of Atlas, this will at least give you, you know, a little bit of a tutorial on how to get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a character on the PvP server uh, named Sharks Frenzy. That's the EU server. Uh, I'm doing that just for the purposes of this video to create a new character. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to highlight the map here before you load into the server and move the little box over to one of the Freeport regions. And as you can see, it says name, Freeport, so you know that you're in the right place. It's these ones that have the little house symbol on them. So I want to start out in E9 Freeport for my new character. So I put the box on E9, back out, make sure that it left the little box on E9, and then I'm going to say join. And then this, of course, will give me a chance to create a new character. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you will become a subscriber and give the video a like and share this with anyone who you know is new to Atlas. This video is being made in October of 2021 and we're still in season six of Atlas so as far as the official seasons go. So for, as far as creating your character, uh, just a few things to mention. Um, height does kind of matter. Uh, I've seen people make their characters huge, like giants like this. And then I've seen people make their characters really small. Now there's benefits and drawbacks to both. Now being really small, you'll be harder to see. Uh, if you're running through the bushes and things like that, people won't be able to see you as well. So that might be an advantage. Uh, but I also have seen it where people couldn't reach <laughs> ladders or platforms or things like that because their character was so small. On the flip side, I've seen people make their characters huge, which makes them easier to see in a fight. So that's a drawback. And then also on the downside, I've seen it where people couldn't actually activate things like a, a ship steering wheel and things like that because they were so tall and so big. So. I typically will just make a character that's kind of somewhere in the middle maybe, you know, just kind of average height maybe. <laughs> that way you won't run into any of those issues with, uh, you know, height or things like that. So I'm going to name my character Main. The Outspoken, just like this, uh, this channel. Sorry for the clicking of my controller here, as if you have a Series X controller, you can probably understand these controllers are a little loud, and I apologize for that. All right, so when you spawn into the free port, you can choose which island you want to start at. Um, I guess I'll just start at the Eastern Island. So that's what our character is going to look like. You, can, of course, can draw tattoos and do all kinds of other cool stuff uh, as far as changing their height and their hair color and things like that. but. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to create a basic character here. All right, so when you first load in to the free port, uh, what the free port is, it's basically a neutral zone. It's a it's an, a grid in the atlas here, as you can see, we're in E9, where you won't take damage from other players. Uh, you will take damage uh, from animals, and you will take damage from food and temperature and things like that. So if your character's starving, you know, you will die in Freeport. Uh, you can't build in the Freeport. Uh, the only thing you can do is get yourself uh, a boat. You can buy one uh, using resources from the shipyardsmen or you can buy crew members, you can buy cosmetic skins for your weapons and armor, you can buy seeds from the seed vendor. Uh, you also can shop at uh, little player shops. Uh, there's one actually right there in the water. So that's a player shop and you know sometimes players will be selling blueprints or crafted items or all kinds of different things for gold in the game. So you can check those out. These are the little vendors, like this is the guy that sells you the crew members. He also can sell you a token that can respec your character, so you can change your, your skill points once you've, if you've already done it, basically you can buy it and, and do it again. You also can respec your character once per level 
uh, as well. The ferryman will give you a free ride uh, over to one of the other Freeport islands within this grid. So if we wanted to teleport over to the other island, we could do that using the ferryman. And then this guy down here is where we would buy a boat. So this is the shipyardsman. So see, we could get a dinghy, a raft, or our, uh, a ramshackle sloop. And that's what we're gonna try to get today is this ramshackle sloop. Kind of looks like this boat here, but except it has two small sails when you first get it. So what we have to do is, of course, we have to harvest resources. We'll start harvesting those. Here's some fiber. Of course, it is the Halloween event going on right now in Atlas. Uh, so they've added these pumpkins and other ghoulish looking things for Halloween. This person sells you the cosmetics for your armor and things like that. You can get a pirate patch or a peg leg, things like that. I'm not sure if this island has a seed vendor or not. Yes, we do. Okay, so yep, so this is where you can get some seeds uh, for your garden. Kind of cool. All right, so we need some wood and thatch. And we're going to need some stone and flint. Because we need to make ourselves some tools. So we go into our inventory. Okay, so I did level up. So now I can spend my points. I'm just going to put my first point in health. And when that happens, you earn points to buy skills. Now, first thing we want to get is the basics. That allows us to craft some stone tools. We also want tools of the trade because that allows us to make a spear, our first weapon. All right, so we have enough stuff in our inventory to make ourselves a stone pick. And then we put that in our item hotbar at the bottom of the screen so that we can equip that quick and easily. There, now we've got ourselves a tool so we can harvest resources much faster. And now we can make a hatchet. The hatchet will get wood more from a tree than thatch, and then a stone pick will get thatch more than the wood from the tree. And it will tell you that on the weapon item, you know, on the its description, what you see it tells you, it gets increased thatch, increased metal and flint, and increased meat. That's for the stone pick. And for the hatchet, you get the wood, the stone, and better at getting the hide from skinning the animals. So I'm gonna equip this hatchet and the spear that I just made. I probably will need to make a few more spears because they break really easily. So go ahead and make a couple more spears. And we do need some hide. So unfortunately, Mr. Pig, we're gonna need some hide. Just try to keep your distance and it works out well when you find one stuck like that because then you can get to them a lot easier. So we use the hatchet, that way we'll get more hide. And let's see if we have enough stuff. Oh, this pig is still trying to attack us. Uh-oh, he's mad that we took out his friend. Okay, <laughs> we'll stay away from him. All right, so we do have enough resources for the ramshackle sloop. As you can see, we needed 225 fiber, 75 hide, and 250 wood, and we have all of that, so we can buy our first boat. And that's what I'll name it. The first one. And just like that, you've got yourself your first boat. Uh, very, very important though, you want to make a bed. You want to make sure you have enough items in your resource, uh, in your inventory to make a bed. 
That way you have somewhere to spawn, because if you don't make a bed and you die, you'll just spawn randomly somewhere here in the Freeport. You'll have to work your way back to your boat. So first thing you definitely want to do is make a bed. Place that on your sloop, because of course you can't put things on land in Freeport, uh, just your boat. So, all right, and just like that, we've got ourselves a boat. Uh, we could go ahead and, you know, if we wanted to make ourselves a campfire like this, we could place that, and then we'll have a way to cook some food. We'll get some meat going on the fire here. There, so now we've got ourselves food cooking. We would, could get some water from the ground. Um, you can dig for water. You just have to lay on the ground and then use your, your action button to dig for water. Uh, it might tell you that the area is too dry or you gotta find greener grounds, but that's one way to get water. Uh, you also can get water from eating berries. And then sometimes you'll just find fresh water on islands as well. There'll be rivers and lakes and things like that where you can drink the water directly. So yeah, you can drink the water directly from the rivers and lakes. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll continue the journey shortly here in the next video, and we'll see where this ramshackle sloop can take us. Thanks for watching.